Hey, this is Paul, the Friendly Reviewer. Now recently Netgear added VLAN and bridging to the features that are in the Netgear Orbi through a firmware update. In this video, we're gonna to explain to you what it is, how it works, and also a tutorial on how to set it up on your Orbi for yourself in case you need it. Before we begin, make sure to check out the description below for any updates since I post the video and also any links that I talk about in the video. Also, make sure to subscribe if you want to follow along and stay on top of the latest updates and tutorials for the Netgear Orbi, as well as see the other product reviews on The Friendly Reviewer. Now let's get into it. VLAN is an acronym for Virtual Local Area Network. A local area network, or LAN, is a network of devices and computers within a limited area, thus local area. Here is a local area network in blue and a local area network in green. A virtual local area network, or VLAN, is when the separate local area networks are physically on the same local area network, but virtually separated to act as if they were on different separate local area networks. Kind of a tongue twister there. You might want to set up a virtual local area network to reduce how far broadcast traffic goes, or to set up IPTV or voice over IP services. For most people, you typically have an internet service provider, or ISP, and a modem to interface with it. Then you'll have a router, and then a switch. For this example, we'll have two computers and a TV connected to the network. We want to separate the computers onto a different local area network than the TV. We don't want to have two separate switches, therefore we set up a virtual local area network to separate the two on a single piece of hardware. If you set up VLAN across multiple pieces of hardware, the communication between them is referred to as a trunk. You may run across certain cases where you need the bridging feature to allow a device to work properly by bypassing the router's network address translation, or NAT, so that it can connect directly to the ISP's network. To set up VLAN and bridging on the Netgear Orbi, you need first to have at least firmware version 1.5.0.12 or newer. You can click on the link above or in the description if you want to learn how to update your firmware on the Netgear Orbi. You first log on to the Netgear Orbi by going to orbilogin.net, use the username admin, and then enter the password that you use when you set up the system. Go to the advanced tab and go to the advanced setup section. Depending on your firmware version, you should see VLAN slash bridge at the bottom of the section. You may have to scroll down in the advanced setup section area to get the options to show up. First, check the box next to enable VLAN slash bridge group. To set up a bridge for a port group, you will click on the radio button next to buy bridge group. Then select the port or SSID on the router that you will use with the device that you're bridging. Last, click Apply on the top. To set up a bridge or VLAN tag group, first check the box next to Buy VLAN Tag Group. You will see that by default, all the ports are set up on the internet group with VLAN ID 10. Click the Add button, enter up to a 10 character name, a VLAN ID between 1 and 4094, and a priority between 0 and 7. As well, click the port or SSID that's associated with it. Then click Apply at the top of the screen. So most people won't need to go in and make these changes to these settings, you can just leave them at the default. Advanced users are going to really appreciate that Netgear has been adding these different settings and options in there as the firmware updates have come in. Now if you do require these changes, make sure that if your internet service provider provides directions, you follow those as well. So this has been Paul, the friendly reviewer, for your tutorial and explanation of VLAN and bridging for the Netgear Orbi. Thank you for watching.